Last week, I asked you to put your OC in hashtag draw my OC RAS so I can draw your pretty, pretty OCs. You know, I am very much hoping they are not ugly. Let's see. Oh, but first of all, I would like to appreciate you guys. Specifically, 50 of you guys putting your OC in hashtag. Unfortunately, I can't draw every OC because it'll be too much for another video and another hashtags, okay? Uh. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of characters here, which I appreciate. But I am from X Mint Flake. Mint Flake. I really like your OC and how she has a horn. Wait, what's her name? Aird Hanakus. I love to see Aird in your style. How dare you? How dare you? And then you. How dare you put hashtag draw my OC Raz here too? You know what? Whatever. I'm going to draw your OCs because why not? <laughs> Okay, straight up, we're going to start with our sketch first, a rough sketch. Maybe it would have helped an individual to have a cleaner sketch and even line up. Huh? No! I want problems, bro. I want problems. I can't live with just uh, having my life is dandy and easy. No! I want problems. I want to make it harder than it actually is. You may think that's weird. Yeah. I say that's challenging myself to force myself to my limit. No. No, Ras. What are you doing? No! It seems that I have made a mistake. I do not know why I decided to merge the hair layer with the body layer. And it's... You know what? I take that back. I don't want problems, okay? I said I want problems. Now I've gotten too much problems. Now I don't want problems. Okay, okay then. So the idea of this painting is... It's going to be similar to the reference the poses, the color palette. I straight up color pick the color from your OC's artwork. Okay, I'm sorry to make it similar to that OC. Okay, vibes and stuff. Particular painting, we're going to make it semi-realistic, which is my usual style. Not like I have any other style, anyways. Bro, I'm struggling in this painting, bro. Like, I mean, look at this screenshot. Look at this screenshot. She looks like she just woken up after being punched into one of her eyes by her abusive boyfriend leaving a dark eye into her face and she's just trying her best to get out of this toxic relationship and she needs help. Or maybe I'm just reaching for things to be honest. <laughs> this is why you should trust the process. The early screenshot of this painting sucks. Most people don't even know how to proceed from here. I don't even know how I proceeded from here. But it's very important for you to just not give a fuck, okay? Because of how I paint, you know, I need to fix a lot of things as I go. Like changing the proportions a bit, changing how the lines look like, how the shape look like, changing your mom. And that's the beauty of it. Sure, it may be harder. Huh? Sure, it may be not time efficient. But that's what I like, to be honest, out of the way I do things. Here's a little trick for you guys. So in Photoshop, there is a magic one tool. The shortcut in my shortcut brush pack is W. So there's this magic one that when you click on something, it automatically select that part of the area that's similar, that's bordered with hair. So I just press that skin color with that magic one, and then it's already been selected. So now I can shade the skin without worrying about messing up the hair because I previously decided to mix the hair layer with the body layer because I'm f***ing stupid. Yeah. I decided to experiment with a lot of stuff, with a lot of multiply layers, with a lot of overlay layers, with purple and blue and orange to make the painting more colorful. I used Hanakyu's drawing as a reference in this painting because, I mean, why not? Oh yeah, in case you haven't followed my Instagram, go follow my Instagram. I usually upload some spicy stuff on my story. Huh? And you can also see my face revealed there if you want. Also, I sometimes share my boxing and gym. Huh? If you're interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I use soft brush and then change it to multiply brush or overlay brush and then just glaze over it huh? And that makes the color colorful and some people will just be like, oh yeah, it's pretty good I love it. Very nice color. Even though most of the time. I don't know what I'm doing I just like yeah color ooga booga color good color nice color lovely <laughs> And here is the beautiful part of it is that when you start to see your painting come to life to like Oh, it's not that bad after all. It's decent. That's where you're like, 
getting hyped up you know you know what i'm saying right you know what i'm saying right like no. it was shit before yeah and then it's starting to get good no. and then you become okay. more engaged into the painting and then you're like, okay. like at the end okay. oh my god it's actually better than i thought no. okay. like i've uh, experienced that many many times okay. feelings of trusting the process just come naturally bro okay. i mean if you're a beginner and then you see your artwork in the process is still you're perhaps going to abandon it don't you're a pussy you're a quitter you're a pussy bro do not quit your painting finish it it's your responsibilities also i'm sorry if my voice is is like kind of sick that's because i am sick <laughs> anyway this is the final painting maybe i should have rendered the hand more you know instead of this weird ass blob <laughs> i really enjoyed it to be honest okay next oc mm, we got here from eru hanami eru hanami i really like the color let's just get straight into the paintings okay i vibe with it now let's go to the paintings lovely oc by the way so in this painting i wanted to create something more compositional something that has framing has compositional thoughts into it okay so yeah we're going to keep the pose yeah. we're going to keep the posing but we're going to make it vertical and with a sky background some sunset oranges reddish sky background i think like that's going to be fire to be honest no. i'm not even going to lie as usual we're going to start with a rough sketch man i really need to fix my sketching so here's a time lapse of me sketching cleanly lee it's not me trying to flex or anything <laughs> And in this painting, I'm going to use a lot of reference here because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Use millions of reference from millions of other artists. Hell, I even use AI as a reference because why not? I use 3D post screenshot as a reference. I'm going to get attacked here in YouTube. I hope not. I hope YouTube is very civilized. Here's another tip for you guys. So to make lighting in my paintings, I always use color dodge to add lighting. So, here's the thing. I pick the soft run brush and then I change that brush mode into color dodge. So it's not a new layers and changing it to color dodge. No, it's the brush that's changed into color dodge. And then I locked my layer that I want to add lighting, pick a dark colored color and just huh, huh, huh? on the side of the painting that I want to add light. And then there's a natural light that is very appetizing to see, okay? Make me want to eat it. Huh? Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, I don't know why. I'm really digging. Like, this specific painting is just so good. Like, the background, the thing, the posing, the composition, the flow, and all that. It, I, I really dig it, bro. Like, it's really good. Now, for the final touch-up. I usually always do this so you go to this bottom right corner here and I used something called curve this is how I can make my paintings darker bits darker and the lighter bits lighter so to make more contrast and when the audience see more contrast to be like Ugu gaga more contrast me I happy I don't know basic human nature or something so yeah remember to do that on your next painting Anyways, here's the final paintings. I really enjoyed painting both of your OCs. If you want to see your OC drawn by me, go put your OC in hashtag drawmyocras2 and hopefully it's your OC. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, do that. Bye. Subscribe. Uh...